Oh yes, an update from me. We are back in cold Norway. It was a shock, you know, going from sunny California back to Norway. And not only that, but it's minus 7 degrees Celsius right here. And it was minus 11 degrees Celsius in uh, uh, at the airport, got him one. Now normally around Oslo, it's around zero, maybe, yeah, around zero in winter. So this is considered cold to be Oslo. But let me show you something. Do you remember the crack I had in the front windscreen? Well, I don't know if you can see it that well, but uh, it started. It started from here. So yes, you know, I had lots of comments of that. It was already a crack here. It was already damaged. And that weakened the whole structure here and caused a big crack. And I also have one bigger one up there, I and mean, then a smaller one there. But that one didn't seem to, to affect it. But this one, it started from this one. So yes, you guys guess it. You know, I forgot to mention it because I was in a shock. But you see, it cracks all the way here, yeah, uh, over to to the edge. No, wait. Oh no! Oh, it doesn't crack all the way to the edge. Let me see. It stops there, so not all the way to the edge. But uh, I preheated the car when we arrived at the airport, and you can you can see the reflection of the crack. It cracked all the way to the other side. Holy crap! How far is it? Let me see. Ow! 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 ow. Um, hmm, this is rock hard ice, so I'm trying to figure out where the cracks are. Oh, oh, I can see it now. No, wait. No, I don't. Uh, I'm not sure where the crack stopped, but the crack is pretty much all the way now. <laughs> and I was afraid that uh, it would just like burst open or something uh, at the highway. Well, it didn't. But um, yeah, so, you know, uh, lesson learned. Next time I get like a stone chip on the window, I should get it fixed. Otherwise, it can be pretty bad. But um, I have this um, super insurance thingy where I don't have to pay anything to get it covered. Uh, normally, I heard rumors it would cost about 7,000 nook, which is uh, around 1,000 euros. That's not too bad. I mean, a BMW, I, yeah, when I changed the front windscreen of the BMW, I saw the bill, it cost 12,000. It was a 5 Series E61. Uh, so this is cheaper than uh, a BMW front uh, windscreen. Yeah, uh, but as you can see here, um, it was pretty bad. I preheated the car for half an hour, which was not enough at that cold temperature. So I had problems opening the door. Let me see. You see? It just sounds weird. Uh, okay, it opens. And it kind of closes. Yeah, but in the beginning I had trouble getting that one to, to go up and down. Because the problem is here. Uh, we had ice on the bottom here and it... Okay, I guess, you know, you see it's starting to melt now. But at that cold temperature around the Garden One airport, you know, half an hour is not going to cut it. I probably had to preheat like one hour. Um, and also if you look here, well, the falcon wing doors, will they work? You know, surprisingly, they work just fine because that's not frameless window. It's frame. Uh, <laughs> so it would actually be better if the front door was also like the Falcon doors or something, or just conventional doors, of course. And then you see here, the spoiler works too, but uh, some some ice has melted, and then we have ice under here. So you know, I should get rid of this big chunk here. I'm trying to melt this. Oh, shit, oh, shit, okay. Uh, I'll get rid of this. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna get micro scratches now, so that's fine. Yeah, the first, the first cut is the deepest, and then from there, we just. Oh man, look at this. Oh, what the heck is that? Is that a crack? Oh shit! I wonder if that's a crack. No, no, it's not. It's just, it's a part of the structure. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, because you know, normally a windscreen. Yeah, it's like, it's like this on this side. Well, a windscreen shouldn't crack for no reason. Uh, so it was the damage from uh, from that stone chip that caused the whole cracking. Um, and let's see, let me show you on this side. Well, I also had problem on this side to open it. It, it works fine now, but uh, in the beginning, that one, this one was like over here. <laughs> yeah, so it's a really common problem. And also I opened the, the, the other Falcon Wing door successfully. Let me show you here. So, um, 
to a big surprise, the falcon wing doors works better than uh, the front doors. <laughs> okay, what about the front? Will it open? Oh, it opens! Ooh! Shit! Yeah. Alright. Oh, but I'm freezing now. My hands are like... Oh, shit, it's so cold. Oh, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get frost now. Frost... What do you call it? Frost damage. But let's get inside. So, oh, oh, let me, let me warm up. Oh, it's like coming to sanctuary. Oh, oh shit. Oh, but here you see the crack again. Oh man. Well, okay, you know what? I think we, we are done talking about crack today. So that was an update. We are back in Oslo. Yes, we're gonna have some fun. So that's it for now then.